Let's take a look at a Hamilton dive watch. I don't know, can we call it a dive watch? It's a 100 meter water resist. Looks like a dive watch. 100 meters is already probably 100 meters deeper than any of us are really going to go. So yeah, it's a dive watch. Anyway, big thanks to the crew and Richard at Saltzman's for sending this over. Link in the description, Saltzman's Rhode Island. Uh, your trusted source for quite a few uh, brands. They're authorized dealer for Hamilton, um, Breitling. Breitling's like they're kind of their flagship. They just picked up Zodiac, uh, Citizen, Bulova, a um, bunch of stuff. I, you guys have watched the videos. So here's the part number H8. Two three eight five three four zero. I was really hoping for a niner, but we have this guy. This is the Hamilton Khaki Scuba, and I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Um, Sor Sorocco. It's S Y R O C O. It's a company or organization or something that is developing. In this was like a co partnership with Hamilton, but that company is working on a project to break the record for fastest sailing. It's a little bit crazy. I'm gonna put a link down below to the videos I found of it. Um, I don't know if I really call that sailing, I guess technically it is, but basically there's a craft that essentially hovers above the water and it's tethered to like uh, something that goes under the water, whatever you want to call it, like a dorsal or fin or something. And then it's also tethered above it with a large sail. And they haul butt and there's like two people in it and it just, it, it goes super fast. But the thing that the people are sitting is, is not touching the water. It's only connected to it via a tether and then, you know, the thing underneath the water. Anyway, I guess that's how you sail really fast. But let's get back to the watch. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this thing a little bit closer. This is probably the best colorway for the khaki scuba. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the colorway my buddy Brian picked up when I was out there visiting uh, about a year ago. So this is a 40.6 millimeter wide watch. So like 40 and a half mil. The lug to lug is a 50. You can see it's fully brushed. Except for that bezel's polished and the crown. It's 13.3 thick. Keep in mind it has a double domed sapphire crystal protruding up above that bezel a little bit. Aluminum bezel insert, aluminum, whatever. 20 millimeter lug width, really nice rubber strap. Of course, it says khaki on both sides, and then Hamilton on the back side with a bunch of Hamilton H's on there. There's a look at the case bag. It does say special edition right on it. And, oh, there's that word. S-Y-R-O-C-O. -O. Yeah, you say it. You tell me how to say it. Scirocco? I don't know. Sounds good to me. I like how flat the case back is to the case. Seven millimeter screw down crown. Nice oversized signed crown. Love the colorway on this one. The blue paired up with that orange around the outer track on the dial. And then, of course, the pop of orange on that bold seconds hand. Very legible hour and minute hand reaching out to those nice markers on the dial. Offset date positioned in between the 4 and 5 o'clock. Trying to keep the balance of the dial. I get it. It's nice to have the full marker at the cardinal position. I would have been fine with a no date. 60 click bezel. Very snappy. No loom pip on there. So we're not trying to meet any ISO standards or anything like that. But still, 100 meter water resist, good loom, great looking watch. That works for me. Inside is the automatic H10 movement. It's an ETA, a modern ETA essentially, 80 hour power reserve. They slow it down a little bit from the four hertz. You can barely tell, but that's how they get the uh, longer running out of it. And it's, if I'm not mistaken, the entire lineup of the H series movements are kind of like laser adjusted for their accuracy. 
which might make it more difficult to service later on, I think. I don't know. Is there any watchmakers in the chat? No, I didn't think so. Let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. Then, of course, we'll close out with a loom shot. Retail price on this, what did that say? $8.45. Reach out to my crew at Saltzman's. Talk to Richard. Tell them I sent you. Good things might happen. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. That is a very good looking Hamilton. I traditionally think Hamilton, I think like the Khaki Field watch. Of course they have, you know, the Jazz Master and a bunch of other watches like that. And of course, like I own the bronze one, the uh, field, the hand wind one. But they really, across their entire lineup, they have some pretty nice watches. You just have to like kind of funnel through and find what colorway is really going to pique your interest. This one definitely is the one that would pique my interest as far as the colorway. Oh, it's kind of slick. They have the H cut out in the uh, buckle there, too. It's kind of skeletonized tang as well. Pretty slick. Nice design. Is that good? Yeah, okay, so one keeper actually has a little indents to hold it kind of in place. You can move it out if you wanted to, but why would you? And then you have one floating one. Let's give this a quick blast of the UV light. Kill the studio lights. I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to flip the switch. I only kill turtles. There we go. There's the loom. The Hamilton steady improving their loom. I mean, it's not like Seiko loom. It's not like crazy bright or anything like that. But it's adequate. And it was diminutive before. So adequate is the step in the right direction. Hamilton, keep it up. I like where you're going with this. We can do more. Let's keep going. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.